And welcome everyone to the Jeanette Biro podcast. I'm Jeanette Biro, and thank you again as always for joining me on the podcast today. Um, I sure appreciate you guys being here. And uh, if you like what you're hearing throughout the podcast and this is the first time you're visiting on YouTube, please do hit subscribe for a chance to win a reading with me. I would be delighted to do so. Um, so listen, I have something really exciting to tell you guys. Now, normally we have messages from the three guides of the light. Those guys are the most common, or we have the archangels sometimes. Um, we have a new group that's come forward and I'm excited to share, and they are the Rainbow, Rain, Rainbow Council of Light. The Rainbow Council of Light. And these guys came to me on the weekend and it was such a beautiful experience and I'll explain that in a minute, but they wanted to talk about healing and healing of the physical body and how we have choice in how we heal. And I know many of us know that we're like, yes, we know we get to choose how we heal and that kind of stuff, but they explained it better. And so that's what I'm really excited to share with you guys. But before I get into that, I want to explain a little bit about who these guys are. So. Again, they call themselves the Rainbow Council of Light. And they are a council of beings, there's several of them. And they showed themselves to me, um, each one wearing a different colored robe that represents a rainbow color. So there were several of them standing there and they came forward and each one is this beautiful, energetic, flowing robe of light energy. And they, you know, they looked, they showed themselves in human form, similar to the three guides of the light, but they were just kind of like a dark outline with light behind them. These guys were showing me the colors that they represented and that they worked as a whole, as a council, each light being of value. And they also told me that they come from the higher realms, the realms of light, so usually ninth dimension and above. And they reside um, within the Sirius star system near Sirius B or on Sirius B. So the energy that they emit in regards to healing and knowledge is really big and I feel like this is one of the directions that they're inviting us to come on just like the three guides of the light invited us into understanding and wrapping our minds around how we gain wisdom and how we make room for that and I believe the rainbow council of light is coming forward to help us understand healing so we can move through it so I'm so excited to bring this through for you guys because I think it'll make a lot of sense so in terms of healing, they said we have the opportunity to heal in three levels, so to speak. And the levels are we can either mend from an injury or illness, right? Where we the injury or illness happens and we mend it and bring it back to what it was before, which is good. The second one is we can transmute it, meaning we take that we transmute the experience and the mending and we become stronger from it. That is really good. And the third one was to transcend the experience, meaning we no longer need that experience and we can transcend it so that we move on from it. And so they kind of compared this to um, almost like winning a bronze, silver and gold medal, right? Each one being really good. So when you win a bronze medal, that's fantastic. You have achieved something great. You also though can achieve a little bit greater if you so want it. And so same goes with silver medal. You've achieved something extra great, right? And let me go back. The bronze medal represents the mending, the mending of the injury or the illness. Silver medal, they compared to transmuting the energy of that injury and illness and coming back stronger, becoming stronger from it, just like a silver medal. You achieved amazingness, but you have one more option to access. And that's like winning a gold medal. A gold medal is where in what they're saying, you get to trans transcend the experience of it. Meaning after a gold medal, there's nowhere further to go. That experience, you've achieved gold medal in that experience, right? You have in a sense mastered it. Therefore, you can move on to transcend other experiences, just like you could try and win gold medals and other things, right? And so to transcend an experience of injury is to no longer need the lesson or the experience or wisdom gained from experiencing that thing. And 
the beautiful thing in this is we get to consciously choose the degree of healing we would like to have based on our understandings of healing, our understandings of consciousness, and our understandings of energy. And so it's really quite interesting because spirit always makes it so that I have to experience what they're talking about right it's not just about them always telling me something and then i just tell you guys but it's about me having to understand based on experience so this kind of all started uh about a week ago for me and so i had this experience in my sleep where um spirit was helping me to open up my chakras further right and i figured my chakras are pretty open but they figured not so much you need to go deeper right and so I had this experience where um, I kept having these dreams and I, they would heat up my body because for me, fevers have always been a thing, right? The, the energy of heating my body to access stored information is a thing. And if you guys read my book, uh, From Avalon to Aurora, which is about my whole experience of NDEs and all of that stuff and the fevers that brought me to these, this stored light code knowledge, it's all in the book. Um, you'll know that my body being heated to a certain degree allows for access to information and so on. And so in this experience I was having last week, uh, my body would get supercharged with heat and then my root chakra went like bang and I saw it open. It opened more. And I was like, whoa, what was that? And then I figured it was done. And then the same thing happened through my sacral chakra, bang, open further. Um, solar plexus chakra bang open all the way up to my heart chakra because my throat and my third eye and crown had already been opened and so there was a further opening of my chakras which I was like wow what the heck was that experience for because it literally made me just like uh, feel this like literal bang or smash through my body when it opened but it was freeing and it was almost like if you were to uh, crack something open and then everything inside can pour out. It was kind of like that. And so it was really interesting to watch, but I didn't quite understand why this was happening. But as always, I'm like, okay, I'm willing. The energy feels okay. I'm trusting. Let's go with it. So then a couple days later, I'm in bed and this was just recent. And I'm sitting there and then all of a sudden, like a switch turned on, I have this massive energy course through me, this set, like literally a switch flicked and it was all there. Massive headache, massive energy running through my spine, down my legs and pain and fever, like this fever feeling. And I am thinking, what the heck happened? There's no way I could have gotten sick in a split second. And I was thinking like, oh my gosh, what the heck is wrong with me? And so of course, right away my brain goes, to fear. Do I have COVID? Do I have this? Do I have this? What's wrong with me? Is it, you know, and all of a sudden I had to run after that and catch it and be like, hold on a minute. Just wait. This is a randomly weird experience. So just stop running. Come and walk back with me for a second and let's see what's going on. And so I have this experience with this fever and the fever allowed me to envision almost these rainbow colors and it also allowed me to choose whether I wanted to be afraid of the experience or whether I wanted to embrace it and when I said okay I'm not going to be afraid I'm going to embrace it what is this and then I heard them say you're not sick this is an opportunity to experience and I'm like what am I experiencing and they said well what are you choosing do you choose fear or love do you choose to run from this or do you choose to embrace it and I said I'm choosing to embrace it I'm not afraid this has got to be an upgrade of sorts. And they said, yes, it is. And so I had that experience of the fever. It dissipated within an hour. I was completely fine and completely fine the next day and so on and so forth. No issue, no being sick. And um, it was really interesting because I was kind of like, well, what was that whole experience for? So then the next day um, I was in the bath. And for me, baths have become very much a ritual. I have a daily bath in which it's an opportunity where I just have the chance to be quiet, to be myself, and to be warmed, right? Like to have warmth. 
and it has become basically a ritual of sacred time and sacred space. And the value of that sacred time and sacred space is it is that I am open, not being busied by everything else, being a mom, uh, making dinner, running to activities, um, clients, emails, all that kind of stuff. It's just time for me. And so in the bath, the rainbow council of light came through and they started talking to me and they started telling me about these opportunities to mend and heal and how there's conscious choice in the mending and the healing. And I thought it was really fantastic because it made sense as to what I had been experiencing. And so some of the specifics that they said I wrote down because I didn't want to miss being able to explain this really clearly. They said the difference in upgrades. So again, remember illness, injury is an opportunity to upgrade. So the difference in upgrades of silver and gold is that it involves consciousness, conscious choice. Remember they said, are you going to run from this or are you going to walk into it and embrace it? It is the intent and energy that turns the healing into light code activations. Either white light, which equals that, that silver metal type level, or rainbow light, which is like a gold metal, is activated depending on your ability to alchemize your thoughts and understandings within your mind first. I thought, hmm, interesting they use the word alchemize. White helps you to transmute and rainbow light helps you to transcend. They are different. And so it is almost as simple as envisioning the white light to come in or envisioning rainbow light to come in and choosing the one that feels the most accurate for you. Um, and you may even find you're desiring the rainbow light, but your mind is still stuck in a little bit of fear and you may only be able to pull the white light, which is still fantastic because you're transmuting and you're becoming stronger because of it. So they said it's not a matter of believing it is happening, but rather of knowing it is happening. These are the best words to describe, but the difference, but to describe, sorry, they said these are the best words to describe the difference, but even they are limited. To better explain, it is a recognition with absolute knowledge that choice is our greatest gift. It permeates all aspects of our souls. The choice to transcend with rainbow energy is a knowing that the illness or injury is but an experience. And so when I was explaining this to a friend to make sure that I'm like, does this make sense? Like what I understood in my mind sometimes is hard to put out in language. And I said, so I explained the whole thing and what they had said and he said, so it's, is it like saying, for example, if you had the flu, you say the flu is with me versus I have the flu. The I have is in energetic alignment and embodiment as it, as it being a permanent fixture of who you are. Whereas I am experiencing the flu keeps it at a certain vibrational level above the alignment with who you are. It becomes more like an idea or a visitor passing through versus the other one, the I have, stakes a claim of embodiment on the self. I thought that was pretty interesting. So consider this again. The flu is with me versus I have the flu. Interesting. So. I do also want to mention though, in this, there are times, because I know some of you are going to be like, well, what about this? Or what about this person that died and they didn't want to die and all this kind of stuff. There are times though, where we have to remember that the physical body, the organic components of the body have been injured to a point where it is hard to mend it. They have broken down too far. Or in the connection where somebody passes, that soul has decided that this is their exit point. On the soul level, the higher consciousness level, the soul has decided it is going to take the exit. Therefore, it allows the body, the organic compounds, instead of mending to break down, to allow that exit point. So we have to keep that in mind too. But there is a power in knowing this knowledge in the three levels to mend, to transcend, or to, uh, sorry, to mend, to transmute, or to transcend. It's important to recognize what this can do for you. And sometimes it's hard to really embrace this new concept because you're like, well, 
how is healing that? Like, I, I want to heal. Why am I not healing? It's a matter of belief. And this is something that I want to go much more into with the Rainbow Council of Light. And I think we're going to bring them through a lot more as we step into 2021, right? As we surface these issues in the world, in our bodies, in ourselves, from everything we've gone through in 2020, we're going to learn a whole bunch more about healing. And I'm really excited about this. So as always, I wish to give you guys what I get when I get it. And so we build on it. And the other really cool, interesting stuff I want to say about this whole thing is that this is ancient Atlantean Lemurian knowledge. This is knowledge that was then passed into ancient Egypt. This is knowledge that helped balance the scientific community with the spiritual energetic community. This is the knowledge that gave wholeness to healing, to healing of physical, healing of communities, healing of um, the collective consciousness grid. Balance, right? This is, this is an aspect of balance. So this is a, a rising too. So for those that are really worried that the world is just going for shit, pardon my language, it is exposing that stuff so it can be mended and healed and transmuted and transcended. That's not easy work. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to transcend. Here we go. Right? My experience wasn't me transcending a fever, but my experience was energetically experiencing how it can be done and the amount of fear involved in it and how to stop and consciously choose to walk in it. That was that experience of this rainbow type chakra fever, right? So I say that because I recognize there's many different levels of illness and injury that people are dealing with, some minor, some major, major. But within each of those, there's capacity for conscious choice in it, bringing in that white light to transmute, bringing in the rainbow light, if you can visualize it, to transcend it. Maybe your soul is at a point where you don't need to have that experience of injury or illness anymore. These are powerful things. And if, if we can take it one step further with this returning of this balanced knowledge, think about what COVID has done in the bigger picture here. Okay, please follow me on the bigger picture. COVID has allowed people an opportunity to slow down. With the lockdowns, it's forced people to slow down and get comfortable with themselves. Therefore, starting to dig into self and discover what isn't needed in there anymore. What are my triggering things? What are things am I doing that aren't healthy for me? What do I need to mend and heal? Why do I need to heal that? The waterfall, remember? COVID has also given people experiences of illness either for themselves or in observing them some close to them. Some has been extreme, some has been mild. Many people that have had a mild version have been so grateful they didn't need to experience the heavier version. And some that have experienced the intense, hard version have had to face some pretty deep aspects of themselves in reflection of that experience and during it. And then some have also taken the opportunity from a soul level again, not the human person, the soul consciousness of the person to have COVID be their opportunity to exit. Within this though, this experience of illness that has hit the entire planet, people are being given an opportunity to mend, transmute, or transcend this experience. So it's something to ponder. It's something to ponder in the greater field of this returning to a balanced knowledge. And there's so much more to come. So I gave you guys basically little snippets on parts of those, but there's so much to come to support why this knowledge is coming back, to support these ideas um, and to further step into mending and healing on all levels. So I encourage you guys to, um, Sit with that a little bit. Think about which aspects in your lives need healing. Where can you bring in that white light? Where can you bring in the rainbow light? Bring in whichever one you want, whichever one you believe in, but when the experience of illness or injury comes at you, instead of running from it in fear, turn around and walk towards it and say, what can you teach me and how can we work together to transmute or transcend? 
and then see what the journey unfolds when you approach it with that energy. So thoughts to ponder to a very delicate experience that is very individualized for everybody. So please do hear me. I recognize it so it is individual, but these are concepts to apply to your experience if it resonates. So I'll leave that with you guys for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for allowing me to introduce the Rainbow Council of Light. Um, I really know that we're going to hear a lot more from them. And uh, yeah, also, before I go, do join us on the Facebook Avalon Spirit group page. Um, there's lots of people sharing great information on there. I'm on there every day uh, posting stuff to help inspire, to help explain, to add some laughter and silly humor to the whole experience of spiritual growth and divine journeys. Um, yeah, also check out uh, avalonspirit.com, you guys. There's lots of information and offerings on there from Akashic Record readings to past life regressions to intuitive mediumship readings, animal healing, uh, wellness coaching. There's lots of stuff, plus our Cosmic Consciousness Circle in which I dive into all things cosmos. It is a, like VIP access to the goings on in the universe and how it affects humanity. So that starts January 27th, I believe. And we also have the Avalon Spirit Club, um, which happens uh, once a month. And it's a deep dive into a topic related to consciousness from sound bowls to mediumship to you name it, anything that's happening. So check those out at um, avalonspirit.com and uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.